I recorded like 12 videos sitting down here on the floor, not like three. But I'm going to record this really, really quick. I hope you guys can see me because I'm kind of sitting on the floor and I just got like a little light behind you guys. So let's talk about three palettes today. It's going to be my three biggest palettes that I purchased this month. These aren't the biggest palettes that I purchased. I have other ones that's worth more than these. But these are three. Well, I don't have any palette that's worth more than this one because this one's $60. Okay, so we're going to talk about the three big purchases I made last week, which was the Vice 4, which was the Naked Smoky, and the Anastasia. I'm going to tell you which one I think you should spend your coins on, okay? So, let's go ahead and start with the Naked Smoky, because that was the first one that I got. Here are the colors. Okay, what do I see? I see that these three colors are average. Same stuff you're going to get in every palette these three colors average you can pick any of them out of my out of your naked two and naked one the only colors that make this palette beautiful is the smolder which would be this purple okay and yeah that's about it um so in my opinion the naked smoky if you're a person that wears smoky eyes all the time that's fine you can do something with this palette me i'm not a smoky eye person for every day i'm just not um it's not good with my skin complexion having that you know if i smoke it out i like to smoke it out with orange or a little bit of warm colors like that blood that brown right there i love a deep crease it's an okay palette but it's not an everyday use palette it's a special occasion palette so i would say pass now let's get into the vice uh four all right First of all, the colors are phenomenal. The colors are phenomenal. They are beautiful. They are gorgeous. Um, yes, these are never before seen colors to me. This green in particular, this color, this beautiful Arctic color, this color, that flame that I got on my eyelids right now. Beautiful colors, gorgeous colors, gorgeous colors. Um, is it worth $60? Absolutely absolutely can you pass on it absolutely because the formula sucks they fall out is it's it's got glitter just falling all on my eyes i can't even explain to you guys <sighs> is it a must-have somebody asked me down below is it a must-have okay it was a must-have for me because let me tell you something i had never even seen the palette didn't even look at the palette didn't even know what was in the palette I remember telling my husband a long time ago that I wanted a Vice palette because I've never had one. I have a lot of Urban Decay palettes, but no Vice. So, my friend was like, I just picked up uh, Shadows on the Wall. She was like, I just picked up the Vice 4. I'm waiting on it. As soon as she said that, I just like put the, I just jumped out of YouTube, went over to Sephora. They were sold out. Went over to Urban Decay website. Bought it like that. Had never even seen it. So, Am I disappointed with it when I got it? No. Is it a must have to me? If you don't have a Vice palette, yes. Go ahead, pick this one up. The packaging is gorgeous. The colors, once you actually blend them in, they're beautiful. I say yes. But if you have a Vice 3, no. Because the colors are similar from what I hear. All right, last palette, Anastasia. I saw this palette. And somebody was like, um, Indigo, Indigo Blue Beauty said you have to get this palette. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to get it. So I got it. And let me tell you something. This one, my dear, is a must-have. First of all, on my lids, I'm wearing a little bit of pink champagne, some of this Morocco, and fudge in the crease. And then I'm wearing flame from the vice four let me tell you something i'm scared i got hair in my mouth this palette is the bomb dot com do you hear yeah. let me tell you something this dang on palette is bomb dot com okay i've already swatched this for you i'll leave the swatch video below but look at that look at that pink color um man that is just so pretty and um this fudge color that's in my crease look at that I mean, it just totally deepened up my crease like never before. Look at that. And um, Morocco, bomb. Look at that. 
anyways if you don't have this palette you really need to get it so this is the one that i want to say is a must have the anastasia world travelers palette every color in here is going to give you nothing but life so look at that bomb so um must have the vice is a is a is a half if you don't have a vice palette then it's a must have i don't really want to say it's a must have because the colors fall out i can try to swatch and show you what i mean by flame just look at it in the pan look how it look just look how flaky it is look at that it's just totally flaky but is it a beautiful color yes it is because it's on my lid and that's what it looks like just pretty so yeah i would say the anastasia world travelers palette is the must have and it's only 30 dollars so yeah girl get your life talk to y'all for real